In the global competition in the field of electric vehicles, China has always been an important player that cannot be underestimated. After facing multiple sanctions and strategic suppression by Western countries, they did not choose to compromise. Instead, they set their sights on non-states full of potential. In March this year, the Moroccan government reached an important cooperation with a Chinese battery company, approving the construction of a battery factory with a total investment of 300 million US dollars, with an expected annual production capacity of 50,000 tons. What is even more noteworthy is that this is not the first investment by a Chinese company in Morocco. As early as 2023, six Chinese companies have successively established electric vehicle battery production bases in Morocco, with a total amount exceeding 12 billion US dollars, which is enough to prove that China's footprint on this land has become increasingly solid. So why did China choose Morocco as an investment location for its battery factory? What is the strategic significance behind this? If you find today's video interesting, be sure to subscribe to the Insider Truth channel so you won't miss any exciting videos. Now let's get into today's topic. Against the background of the transformation of the global energy structure, the electric vehicle market is experiencing unprecedented rapid development. In this green revolution, Morocco has taken advantage of its unique geographical advantages to become an important hub connecting Europe, Africa, and the Middle East, providing great convenience for the manufacturing and distribution of electric vehicle batteries. As the world's largest producer of electric vehicles, China has been under constant economic pressure from the West in recent years and is eager to seek new production bases to maintain its market leadership. In this context, Morocco's strategic position and the advantages it offers provide ideal cooperation opportunities for Chinese electric vehicle companies. As early as 2023, six Chinese lithium battery companies announced that they would invest billions of dollars in building factories in Morocco. According to the investigation, these companies not only invested huge sums of money to build battery factories, but also included cathode material production lines and other supporting facilities. Among them, a Chinese company named Guixian Hitech invested 2.6 billion US dollars to establish a large-scale battery factory in Morocco. It has an annual production capacity of more than 1 million electric vehicles and is supplying the battery demand for electric vehicles in Morocco and even the entire North Africa region. Industry provides a solid backbone. In addition, there is a Chinese company called Huayu Cobalt that has established a lithium iron phosphate and lithium refinery in Morocco to meet its growing demand for lithium iron phosphate materials. Within this year, China's Betri New Materials Group also received approval from the Moroccan government to build a large-scale new energy vehicle battery factory near Tangier, focusing on the production of cathode materials, a key component of batteries. It is reported that the construction cost of this factory is as high as 300 million US dollars, and the production capacity is expected to reach 50,000 tons per year. It is expected to be officially put into production in September 2026, and the first batch of product output is expected to be 25,000 tons. This makes us very curious. Morocco has a population of only about 36 million. Why has it attracted the attention of so many Chinese companies? As far as I know, Morocco overtook South Africa in 2018 to become Africa's largest car producer. This achievement allows Morocco to occupy a pivotal position in the new energy vehicle industry chain. Although Morocco is located in North Africa, the closest distance to Spain on the opposite coast is only 15 kilometers of sea. This unique geographical location provides great convenience for its export. More importantly, Morocco, as a world-renowned port country, has more than a dozen shipping ports. These ports are located at the intersection of the Mediterranean Sea and the Atlantic Ocean, providing Morocco with significant shipping advantages. Chinese companies have chosen to establish automobile battery production bases here, which can not only reduce logistics costs, but also efficiently transport products to European and African markets.
More importantly, although China's past investments in many countries have brought significant economic benefits to the local areas. But sometimes, these investing countries do things that harm China's interests. Take India as an example. The country once imposed sanctions on the Chinese company Xiaomi and froze its assets of 4.8 billion yuan. This undoubtedly caused considerable losses and troubles to Chinese investors. In contrast, Morocco signed a Memorandum of Understanding on the Belt and Road Initiative with China in 2017, officially becoming a participant in this important international cooperation. It is understood that countries participating in the Belt and Road Initiative are usually able to maintain good mutual trust and mutually beneficial relations during cooperation. In this context, Chinese companies that choose to invest in Morocco can be well protected. What deserves special attention is that in the field of new energy, the number of cooperation projects between Morocco and the United States has not only increased, but the funds involved have also increased year by year. At the same time, Morocco is also within the framework of the North American Free Trade Agreement and the European Free Trade Agreement. This means that Chinese battery companies with factories in Morocco can sell their products to the US and European markets more smoothly, thereby avoiding complex tariffs and trade barriers. For China, this is an important strategy to flexibly respond to the risk of Western sanctions on China's new energy vehicles. We all know that the importance of batteries in building an electric car is unquestionable. But battery production relies on rare metal minerals, and Morocco's unique land is rich in key raw materials for battery manufacturing such as lithium, cobalt, and nickel. But in Morocco, the most impressive mineral resource is phosphate. According to the United States Geological Survey, Morocco's phosphate rock reserves reached a staggering 50 billion tons in 2021, accounting for 73% of the world's total reserves. Phosphate is the core raw material for new energy vehicle battery manufacturing. It is mainly used in batteries used in low- and medium-priced electric vehicles. Although the energy density of lithium iron phosphate is slightly lower than that of ternary cathode materials, it has obvious advantages in cost and is extremely cost-effective. As the new energy vehicle market continues to expand, the demand for lithium iron phosphate materials is also growing. Thanks to Morocco's rich phosphate resources, Chinese battery companies not only ensure the supply of raw materials, but also effectively reduce costs. This not only enhances the competitiveness of Chinese battery products in the global market, but also provides strong support for the promotion and development of new energy vehicles. In fact, Morocco has not only attracted Chinese battery companies, but battery giants from South Korea, Germany and Japan have also turned their attention to this rich land. Take German car dealers, for example, which plan to build a $6 billion factory in Morocco in 2025 to produce electric vehicle batteries and energy storage systems. Immediately afterwards, well-known brands such as Renault, Stellantis, and Japanese auto parts giant Sumitomo Electric Wiring Systems and Yazaki also built a complete automotive industry chain in Morocco. The joining of these automobile companies not only greatly promotes the automobile manufacturing industry in the local and surrounding markets, providing high-quality parts and components, but also marks that Morocco is using its unique geographical and economic advantages to rapidly grow into a member of the global automobile industry chain. An indispensable member. With the participation of more and more international automobile brands and the continuous strengthening of Morocco's own strength, this land will undoubtedly become more and more dazzling on the global automobile industry stage. Before we end today's video, remember to hit that shiny subscribe button. This way you will receive more insider information on projects as soon as possible. Looking forward to sharing with you next time.